certainly looks good. This is the C edition with its blue theme. So you have a uh, light blue background, you have some even lighter blue keys with some dark blues in the corner and all the letters are blue as well. It's a very blue theme overall. To start off we'll show you how to work the light. You press special and L. It turns the light on and off. However you can't hold special and press L and then do it again. It, it won't do it. You actually have to redo it every single time so uh, just keep that in mind that it just doesn't toggle on and off like that i'm not the greatest typist i guess you could say i actually don't even use all my fingers i think i use these ones so i kind of exclude a bunch or maybe i don't i'm not really sure i don't really focus on my typing but let's check it out peter is using this device it's all caps i forgot to caps lock it this thing is really clicky clicky it says it has a mechanical keyboard it's very rewarding to write this is quite the nice unit, and I like the colors, colors, color scheme, whatever. Um, yeah, so the typing is quite nice. You do see some staining in the background, but what you can do is actually go to a new folder. You have three simultaneous folders right here, folder A, B, and C. So that will kind of kick a refresh on the device, and you can use all three folders and uh, kind of, you know, new pages, so to speak, because as you can see here, it actually does uh, remember what you wrote. Um, and another thing you can do with this is actually press the send button. And right here, you'll see your document has been sent. So as you see, I'm on folder C. I can actually go to folder B too, where I wrote some other stuff and it did keep it. Let's get rid of that. And you will see here that on my account, it writes the exact same thing as what I wrote on the screen, both folders. It says Peter is using this device, hello this is Peter, etc. So you can see that it actually keeps track pretty much live after you sync on your account online. You have to set this up on the device, it's very simple. Um, and uh, what you do is you just refresh like that and everything will be sent to your device, whether you're checking it on your tablet, on your PC, if this is next to your PC or on your phone. Wi-Fi is very simple. You just go over to new and then you choose your Wi-Fi. Ours is called Evolution because it was named after a really nice car I had. And um, that's uh, how you can go to Wi-Fi and you can actually turn it off too if you don't want to send anything live and you want to kind of keep everything localized to this device and then send it later by pressing the send key down below. This secondary screen here actually is your status screen. You can press the special button down below to toggle between the date and time, your email address, you see peter at goodyreader.com, that is my email, feel free to drop a line if you want to say hi. And you keep pressing the special and it'll show you reading time, words, how many characters you wrote, a very nice analog clock. Um, I don't know what that is actually. And then you have a timer and then you can set it to nothing. And then if you press and hold the space bar, you actually get the battery level. So uh, kind of a very technical and difficult way to get to how much battery life you actually have left. Cycle through to the very end and then press and hold to uh, reveal it. So it is there if you need it though. Feel free to not pay too much attention as to what I specifically wrote. We just want to show you that how you get all the way up because there's no actual cursor keys uh, up, down, left, and right. There's no way to really get around the screen. You use that by pressing page up and page down like that. So you can go page up and page down and the status bar shows up here. And when you go to page up at the very top, it says press any key to resume typing or you can just resume typing like this. So I am going to finish writing my amazing story for uh, you all. I hope you have enjoyed what I have to say to you all. Thank you very much for sticking with us all these amazing years. I don't know, I just wrote what came to my head. So again, you can go page up and that will allow you to scroll through your memoirs. And again, if you're saying, you know what, I wanna keep what I have here and I wanna send it over and it'll say your document has been sent. Again, go to your phone, refresh, and then you will see 
that your doc has been sent right there. So that's one of my folders. And you can go to your other folders anytime you want. B, A, etc. You can also press the button here to turn it off, a little sleep mode, so to speak. And it has a little screensaver. Press it again to turn it back on. That is the sleep wake function. Now you have some new features as well down here with the new keys. You have a couple more things as well. If you press new and new, it'll actually start a new draft like so. And if you press new and page down, you can access your older drafts like the ones that we just kind of went away from. If you press new and backspace, you actually delete an entire word. So you can think of this particular command like control backspace. That's how you delete word by word rather than going single backspaces through everything. There's also new and shift at the same time, but it doesn't necessarily do anything in my particular um, situation because it cycles through keyboard layouts, but that only applies to if you've actually added any specific keyboard layouts on your account. So you can see we have different types of English, Arabic, Chinese, Czech, um, Korean, French, and Hungarian, Italian, it goes on, Latvian, Norwegian, and you can see that the layouts are very different. The keys are in different places, the characters themselves are different. Um, obviously the physical keyboard, they're not running each individual little LED panels on every key, so a P will be a P and O will be an O, but if you change it to Russian, you'll have all the Russian characters respectively where you would usually have them. So if you have muscle memory and you're good at typing, you won't need to look at the keys and you'll know how to write Norwegian, French, Italian, etc. This device is extremely cool. It has a very nice click. It's a very rewarding payoff when you click on these keys. The thing is built very nicely. It's weighted very nicely. It has nice rubber stoppers on the bottom. This thing is going to feel like you're using a typewriter in the modern era without actually having to use a typewriter. That is the point. This thing is uh, very familiar for a lot of people that maybe grew up with typewriters, as you saw in my memoirs right here. Um, I would recommend it if it's something that, you know, you want something cool and and funky and niche because that's basically what this is it's doesn't have a ui doesn't have a touch screen doesn't even have cursors to navigate around there's no menu system it's very bare bones but that's the point you can even turn off the wi-fi and use it completely localized and connect it with a usb cable if you want so highly recommended the free write um, if you guys have any other questions comments or concerns or if we didn't touch on anything i'm pretty sure we did and we've even had to reference the uh, user manual to make sure we've touched on everything Thing. If you guys think we missed out on anything, let us know. But for now, this is a uh, review of the free write. Everyone, have a great day.